Hello, my lovelies. Christy here. So as you can see, we have a guest artist. Boulder, come over this way so they can see your face, baby. I know you've been getting some of your artistic medium. I am Christy with Litter to Glitter. I am a furniture artist out of Garland, Texas. With me today in my studio, which he's never allowed in my studio. So he's kind of not like not knowing how to act is Baldur. You see his tongue is going. Um, I'm just going to tell you right now, I give him a special artist medium. I use my peanut butter, all natural, creamy peanut butter. And so I've already given him some of his artistic medium and we are going to be doing doggo art today. So you might be asking yourself, what's doggo art? So I am actually going to, while well, Balder is going to be creating artwork with that tongue of his today, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I am going to show you um, how to do this, how to, um, how to set this up. This is also a great process for toddlers as well. No, you can't get your, you can't get your artist medium yet. You're acting like a crackhead. You're acting like a crackhead. Stop it. So I am trying to get over to the Miss Lillian's page, make sure that I am live and um, get this out for, to get it out there into the universe and get it out. So when you hop on, say hi, tell me where you're from. And uh, we will get going here. And I need to share to right there. All righty. All right. So how does this work, do you ask? So let me show you. I did one with my little Whiskey Girl um, a while ago. And this is the one that I did with Whiskey Girl some months ago. And what you do is I put down a base color. And then I taped out the mermaid on it. Because Whiskey is basically a mermaid and doggo in house hippo form and he's drinking his water if that's what you hear um excuse me hello okay over here good boy so and then once it dries you peel your tape back and it'll give you the outline of whatever stencil you have on there so with balder balder's more of a cut and dry kind of guy so what I did was I used some of the Miss Lillian's metallic paint and did a base. And you see there's three different color stripes on here because I used three different size tapes, painter's tape over top, and just laid out lines. So what you're going to need is you're going to, you can do this on a regular canvas. You could do this on a piece of cardboard. I used the flat uh, canvas boards for today. What you can do is you can also, uh, well, I'm going to be wrapping it in Reynolds wrap, the cling wrap. Please tell me that I picked up the plastic wrap and not my, yeah, I got the right one. <laughs> um, knowing me, I would have picked up the aluminum foil. So uh, what you do is you take it and then you add some of your paint down. You wrap it in the plastic. Now, if you do the smaller ones, they might fit into the Ziploc gallon bags, and that's fine, too. You can, if you have a really big canvas, you can, Alder, I'm working over here. So, uh, what you can do is you can go to the store and get you uh, one of the, like, the turkey basting bags, if you've got a really large one. For this one, I'm just going to wrap it in um, plastic wrap. And then what you do over top of the plastic wrap for doggo art is that you kind of smear peanut butter over the top and they will lick it, which spreads the paint around, which is what Whiskey did on this one. And then once it dries, you peel the tape back and that'll give you on this one your lines. And so since we use the black metallic, and I'm shaking this up and he's like, mom, is that more of my artistic medium? No, this is my paint. And so what I'm going to do is pretty much like you're just doing a paint pour. I'm going to take it off and off the top and I'm just going to put a couple of drops, no rhyme or reason because, you know, it's doggo art. And I want to make sure that I, I don't want enough that it's going to take hours and hours to dry. Um, but I do want to get paint all over. 
And so that is one color. This is Rockabilly. Hey, Sue. I see somebody is on Twitch joining us. And so we are laying down our paint and then I will wrap it in plastic. Then I will add. And so this one is called French Country by Miss Lillian's. And again, I'm just kind of pouring it all, not any rhyme or reason, just giving a little bit more in one area, a little bit less in another area. And so there, and then I'm going to put my lid back on. Old dude's over here chilling at me now. Thank you, Sue. If you could get that into Whiskey and Women, I'd appreciate it. I am going to take my plastic wrap and put this directly. You can see I'm just wrapping it. And I'm going to wrap it a couple of times. Uh, Miss Lillian's, the no etch chalk paint is not toxic, but still he is my doggo. He is my house hippo and I love him desperately. So I am just going to make sure that he's not going to ingest any of the paint. And the way you do this with toddlers is that instead of, you know, getting them to lick peanut butter off or, you know, you can get like the Kong uh, spray. There's a whole bunch of different mediums you can use, but Balder's kind of a, he likes his peanut butter. And so we even sometimes for a treat will dip his treats and peanut butter and give him those. And so what you're doing when you add the cling wrap over top of it, I'm just going to push it, smush it down, is that it's going to look like that. And then what we're going to do is we are going to mix this up. And then I'm just going to kind of spread it on where I want him. And this is a fun, fun way to spend time with your doggos. Well, I don't know if I said about the grandbabies. The way to do it with grandchildren, with toddlers, is to put Cheerios down or something that they are going to grasp onto. And by doing that, they will then... Um, move the paint around so boulder is just sitting here i wish i could turn the camera but i'm here by myself and i am going to where my lines are especially in between my lines i want to make sure that i get it on those lines because i'm going to be peeling the tape away and i want to make sure that those lines are kind of crisp and so in order to do that you want to make sure that the paint is smeared. And so we're going to be doing that and here, there. And then, oh, Mr. Paul Casso. Come here. Come here, Balder. Can y'all see him? Come on. Don't make me go get your sister because whiskey loves doing this. You want to put it down? No? Really? I've got to go get your sister? Or are you just camera shy? Come on. There we go. And so he is moving that paint underneath. Is it good? Is it good? You're doing a good job. Oh, you, you got. He, he's over here. So I see Sue's on with us. Come on. You want to put it down? Yeah, I ate your peanut butter. It's right there. 
Okay, so now we've got movement. Let me see if I can get to the camera without um, scaring him off because he is not usually in my studio and I don't think he knows that he's supposed to be in here. So he's a little been a little skittish. So he's moving right along. Here you go, puppy. You got it? No, what? You and kids, what is it with you and toddlers? Both are, he's like, I don't want the camera on me, mom. Boulder, you want some more? Do you want to go get your Kong treat? Because you like your Kong treat. Here you go, all yours. So you, like I said, you can use peanut butter or you can use the Kong treat, uh, like the whip, the whipped cheese thing in a can. And uh, so he's moving, he's doing really well with it. And so that tongue, he's making art that I will hang on my wall and keep for the rest of my life. And so this is a great, great way. Are you, why are you being so shy? Boulder. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to go get his sister because Whiskey loves this project. It's the first time I've done it with Boulder. But Whiskey, are you coming back? He's sniffing everything in the studio. And I brought him in here like an hour ago to try to get him acclimated. But usually when he gets in here, he gets yelled at because he's not supposed to be in here. Boulder. You want some more? He's like, Mom. Here, you want that? You want it off. You've gotten spoiled. You want it off the spoon. No, right there. No, still no. You'll take it off the, come on. Okay, well, I'm going to go get your sister. Because, hey, cat. Sue, stop it. Stop it. Sue's like, Krista, you lick it. Um, and Kat says, hey, so I'm going to go put Balder in the next room. I will come back with whiskey. So give me just a second. Whiskey loves this project. So come on, Balder. Your sister will do it. Why did you get all camera shy all of a sudden? You've been in there. Come on, whiskey. Come on. Come on, whiskey girl. Whiskey girl, come here. Come on. What does mom got? Whiskey girl. Look. So I got whiskey girl in here now. Come here. You want some? So she's she's going at it. Here, you want me to put it down for you? You want me to put it down? And so she's having a go at it. And so that is the way that it is done. What is it, whiskey girl? Look at that tongue going. And it'll take a few minutes. Don't think that this is a project that they're just going to get done in three to five minutes. But like I said, um, this was one of Whiskey's earlier projects that we did. And hey, Galenia. So we are doing doggo art. So let me explain doggo art to you uh, for people that are just coming on. What you can do is you can take one of these, which is an actual canvas. The one that it's on right now is a flat canvas board. And what I did was I put a primer down, a primer coat, just a base coat. And then I taped it off in certain areas. And <laughs> she's. <laughs> um, and then taped it off. Like this one, I taped off a mermaid in the area and then put paints around it, wrapped it in plastic wrap. Okay. And then um, added peanut butter over the top. And then once they get the peanut butter off the top, then you let it dry. You take the plastic wrap off, you let it dry, and then you peel the um, tape off and it'll give you, for this one, we did 
Oh, whiskey's going to town. Is that good, whiskey? Is that good? So, I don't know why they're being so bashful of the camera today. Mama's always got it in their face. I've got 300 pictures of them. And now you stop. You were going to town and moved the camera and you stopped. And this is why in Hollywood they say never work with dogs or animals and never work with kids. So, Whiskey, you're almost done, girl. Between you and Boulder, y'all got this pretty good. Whiskey girl. There you are. I just need you to get that area right there and we're done. Right there. She's getting it. She's getting it. Okay. So what you do is when they're done, to only took two dogs. Not sure why Boulder was being such a poopy head. They're my dogs. So what you do is you just take it uh, and where is the end of it? All right there. Um, there it is. You unfold it and you can just roll it back up as you go. And that way you're not getting the peanut butter all over you. And remember, I wrapped it all the way around just to make sure that stuff doesn't get everywhere. And I'm going to put this, give me just a second. I just want to make sure that that peanut butter is wrapped up in it. Yeah, it's a really, Delaney says, cool, she needs to do it with Ruger. Um, like I said, you can do it with um, the Kong uh, training stuff, or you could also do it with, um, we use the the peanut butter from, um, what is it, the... Is it the Jif or the Peter Pan? I mean, just a second. The Peter Pan. We do it with the Peter Pan, and it's the natural. And then I'm just blotching off, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just kind of blotching off some of the excess because I want to peel the tape off on camera. So I'm using the plastic and blotching off some of the uh, excess paint because I want to pull the tape and then let me get it around this way. And there's a couple of areas that they didn't get all the way up to the tape. And I'm just going back and hitting those again with the plastic. And let me just see, where can I am? Because the thing is, is that usually I do this when I'm in here by myself with them. And not on camera, so I usually am more prepared. So what you do is, with this one, I use three different tapes and I am going to just grab and peel. Now I usually wait till the paint is dry so my lines on this are not going to be as crisp because I am removing them wet which is fine too because it's doggo art. No ma'am. Now she, she now she's like where's my peanut butter? And then we're going to just let me get this down so you guys can see what I'm doing other than making a mess is I'm going to peel back the strips of paint or the painter's tape. And I left myself tabs on the back so I don't have to, you know, try to fight over that wet paint. And, oh, there's one. There's a good tab. You want to kind of try to pull at a 90 degree angle when you remove it. And so most of the time what I'll do is that when I do this with them, I'll take this and I'll set it outside, let it dry, and then remove the tape. But I wanted you guys to see how doggo art, how I make doggo art with my puppies and you can do all sorts of colors and shapes if you've got a stencil you can what I do is I lay down painters tape and then I put my stencil over top and that's not I, I wrapped my own finger in my tape pulling it off um, and then you take a marker and on 
you know, just trace the stencil and then with a exacto knife, you cut it and then you leave only the areas you don't want paint. So it's like a reverse stencil. And then there you go. That is my last piece of tape. And then once this dries, isn't that cool? Once this dries, what I will do is I've got some little wooden signs that say, hello, welcome, um, you know, uh, stuff like that. And I will pick one of them. I will do it in a coordinating color and then put that wood cut out here. And then we might add some paw prints uh, once it dries. And then I will have one of a kind doggo art in my house that my puppies made. Because we all know we all love our, our we all love our house hippos and our doggos, um, but we know that you know their lifespan is shorter than ours. So this is a great way to be like, well, Balder was supposed to do this, but for some reason he freaked out in my studio and he decided he didn't want to play today, so he didn't do it. So I had to bring in his sister, but that was a fun day. So it's something that you can always look back on and do and have a keepsake with your doggos. You can always put their paw um, because this paint is not toxic. It's not, it's not like you're dealing with lead paint or something with high toxicity. It is non-toxic. So you can always put their paw in it and do a paw print. Just make sure you wash it off um, with anything. And like I said, this is also a great way to do this with toddlers. Like I said, instead of putting peanut butter, to use Cheerios or something that they're gonna smear around. Now, I can tell you that if you're going to be doing it with a toddler, then you definitely want to make sure that you have it inside something inside of a bag, like a Ziploc bag. I would suggest using the smaller pallet boards, um, the canvas boards, and um, doing uh, putting them like in a gallon-sized Ziploc bag and zipping it up. And that way, none of your paint is going to go flying out. And so that, my lovelies, is our little doggo art. I'm going to have to go back and change the description and say whiskey or ball, our special artists, Balder and whiskey, because they both worked on this one. And she's over here in my lap. This is, this is my little whiskey girl. And so guys, I will see you tomorrow night on painting with whiskey and women. Yes. And, um, then, uh, I will be back here, uh, Monday, next Monday at three Eastern. That's two Texas time y'all. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Much love. What are you doing, man?